What's up everybody, welcome back to John's Daily Hustle. So for those of you who know me, I own Fields Lawn Care and Landscape out of Springfield in Nixon, Missouri. So one thing that we do is gutter cleanouts. We actually really like to do that as a side, little side job that we offer. And it's pretty profitable. So we just got this bad boy today to do it. And it's one of those all-in-one kind of ladders. And these work really, really well for doing gutter cleanouts. We had to buy this one, as you can see it's 22.3 feet up which will do two-story houses. That one only goes up to, I think, 15 or 17, so I'm not sure if we're gonna keep that one or not. I may sell it or may just keep it as a second ladder because it's total, like half the weight of this, so it's better than carrying this around all the time. But I definitely recommend these ladders if you're gonna get into that, because like I said, as you can see, you can use it for all different types of, types of things. You got just your regular step ladder, you can use it on stairs, you can even use it on a 90 degree angle and then you got your regular extension ladder and you need to have at least 22 feet to get up to a second floor second story roof so what i was doing right there is i took my leaf blower and i actually put it in the rain spouts where the gutters that come down and i blew it all the way up i blow well i try to blow it up to get any debris that's stuck in there to blow out and sometimes if I know there's a lot of stuff in there I'll even go up top and do it down below to get the blow out that way. We do that every spout before we get started because it makes a bit of a mess and it'll blow more stuff back up in the gutters. But it actually works pretty well. What's up guys? Just up here on the roof. You guys can see we're doing gutter cleanouts. This one looks really good. And that one's just got a little bit left in it. So a lot of times when you're doing these you run into this. It's almost clean. I have just a little bit of this gravel here like that. You can clean that out as best as you can. Give the customer what they want, but not too bad. As you can see on this side, this is the higher up side. There's not a single thing in here. This looks great. So I'm gonna take a guess and say there's not gonna be anything on the back either. This is a great investment. So I didn't specify there, but what I was actually doing was using a gutter clean out. It was, I believe the gutter getter, I think is what it was called, kit off of Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description below, which if you guys click it and buy it off of me, I do receive a commission off of it, and I always appreciate that. It helps me a, a lot. But anyways, I was using that, which you'll see in the video where it reaches out, and basically it keeps you from having to move the ladder. You know, you reach out another five feet in both directions, and it keeps you from having to move the ladder around a bunch of times and it definitely saves you time and wear and tear, not quite wear and tear, but fatigue anyways because you don't have to keep going up and down the ladder and moving it as much. So I definitely recommend it plus it also comes with a little scoop to help scoop stuff out. So if you're doing gutter cleanouts, it's important to get a ladder that has one of these types of extensions on it, a leveler. As you can see, that ladder is far from level with the ground. And without it, this would be dangerous or you'd have to use an extension. So I highly recommend spending the extra money and get one of these. So probably the next gutter clean out you guys see is before I even bought either one of the ladders. Um, and I was actually borrowing a ladder. Thanks Paige and Brad. And I didn't even have that gutter cleaning tool. I was just using my hands. Uh, which I learned there's some nasty stuff in gutters sometimes. So I highly recommend you wear a pair of gloves. Like get those real like almost elbow long gloves. You know what I'm talking about? Like the kind that keeps water out. I definitely recommend using those because there is sometimes some nasty stuff in gutters that you probably don't want to touch. Spiders are warning there's ants on another too. I've seen you guys will probably see a video on that one too. Um, so just be careful, be cautious about what you're reaching in there and grabbing. Um, but anyways, let me know if you guys offer it or if you're going to start offering it. Let me know um, what you guys do, if you guys do anything different than what I do. But anyways, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It always helps. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.